Man, you know, welcome to another RTB opinion video. And this release it now, fix later mentality will cause another gaming crash. So, what am I talking about? Man, you know, during this time around the holiday season, there's supposed to be a lot of epic games that's supposed to come out. You know, from Call of Duty to the Battlefield. And, and I mean, these games were supposed to be amazing. But all these games have gotten nothing but negative press and just... How did this happen? How did this happen? Call of Duty Vanguard... Yeah, the campaign's good, but the multiplayer is just bare bones and just, it feels just tacked on and it doesn't feel there's like no effort to it. Call of Duty want Call of Shit. Battlefield 2047 or 42, whatever it's supposed to be called. It's, it, it might as well be called Battlefield. It needs, it needs to go back in development because holy shit, this is a work edition because freaking i've seen videos of people getting shot and they're not dying like you can like i guess you know you get enough kills you can like get cars to parachute down or they're overpowered as hell and it's bro and it's constantly crashing and breaking on a consistent basis keep in mind this is the beta before release and that's happening yikes so rony so activision messed up with call of duty EA messed up with Battle, the new Battlefield. Grant that followed the definitive, definitive edition. More like definitive shit. What the hell? Like, who's, like, who saw that? Did no one play test this? Did nobody play test this? Like, it is absolute dog shit. Absolute dog shit. Like, did no one play test this at all? Like, you get in a car. Like, I saw a video of a person getting in a car, driving, and the th car randomly explodes. Now, I know you're thinking, RTB, did someone throw a grenade or someone shoot with a rocket launcher? No, it just driving, boom, just randomly just blows up out of nowhere like one one person was doing like um ambulance mission we you know you take people that are hurt and drugs in the hospital the ambulance just like f like so it just like got hit and like got into a building got trapped and, and his boom explodes another one <laughs> where you can park a car in a certain area and the car would disappear Oh, and there's a certain map they haven't patched it yet where you can fall through the world. Like, no one play tested this. And the graphics are hit and miss. Sometimes it looks good. Sometimes it doesn't. At least the main characters look decent. I don't know. Tommy, Tommy from Vice City looks kind of ugh to me. But, and then, but some of the characters, like their cross-eyed, it just looks awful. Like, this game had no business. Back for Blood was another one, though. Besides the GTA did Fin Division that should have not been released. Didn't do well. Grant critics are giving good reviews. But I saw Angry Joe's review, and I'm like, how is this getting sevens and eights? Like, no, yeah, Jim, Jim, even Jim Sterling and, and, and is like shitting on it. But like, Angry Joe as well. Like, he gave like a four out of ten. On his review, spoiler alert, sorry about that, but it's bad. And this is the same thing that made Left for Dead. Turtle Rock Studios, what happened? I don't, I don't know, I guess ever since Evolve, it's like they fell apart or something. I don't know what's going on anymore. Like, these games have no business being released. They're, I mean, the only one out of the ones I mentioned that kind of work is um, Back for Blood and, and, and Call of Duty Vanguard. But even then, it's just considering that games are costing sixty now. In some cases, seventy dollars. Seventy. You have the balls to ask us gamers 
which we're in the middle of a like financial crisis because of the because of, because of the the pandemic. You have the balls to ask for. Hey, I know you pay normally the fifty or sixty. We want seventy now, and then in return you give us this. How the fuck do you expect us to feel? You're giving us this in return. You're demanding more money, and you're giving us the middle finger. You know what? Fuck you guys. And this fucking release it now, fix it later mentality will cause another gaming crash. People will not buy these games. Any will not buy these games and demand a refund if this keeps happening. Did we not learn nothing from Cyberpunk 2077? Did we, did we not learn nothing from that? Like how CD Projekt Red's reputation is destroyed now because of that game? Why is it that these companies like Activision, freaking EA, and Microsoft, seriously Microsoft, what the hell, and then Rockstar, why do why do why would you release these games in these states? Why? There's like so many games I'm looking forward to and just shit, 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 and shit. All of it. Dog shit. Like what the hell, guys? Especially Battlefield and, and Grand Theft Auto. Oh my god. There are clips. Like, you don't have to believe me, there are clips. You can find on, on, on Facebook and Twitter the um, on, and on YouTube the amounts of bugs and glitches. And they have the balls to ask you for like 60 to $70 more if you want like the collector's edition and shit. I mean, people saying it's the worst launch that Battlefield has, has ever experienced. I disagree. Does anyone remember Battlefield 4? Ho oh. ho. I do. In fact, let me give you a personal story. When I first got the PS4, when it first came out, one, one amongst the first games I got was Battlefield 4. Because I loved Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3 was probably the last great Battlefield game. I loved Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3 was... The campaign wasn't the best. I, I enjoyed it, though. Multiplayer was mad fun. Mad fun. And I loved Battlefield 3. I mean, I think we can all agree... Battlefield 3 was amazing. So, when, of course, they announced a sequel to that, I'm like, and on a new generation console, so not only it's going to be, you know, I have to play on a new system, it's going to be more beautiful, more powerful, and just do twice the amount of damage I did in the, in the previous game. I'm like, hell yeah, let's do this. And it was a giant shit show. Because before, traditionally with me, I like to play the campaign before I go and jump into the multiplayer. The campaign would crash constantly. And it would crash so badly that any progress I made on the campaign would be deleted. Eventually, they did put a patch to fix it, but by that time, I was disgusted and done with Battlefield 4. And those of you, those. And for, for those who say, well, thank God I only played the multiplayer, spoiler alert, the multiplayer is also infected as well. So if you're like rank, like within like one night, you like you did an all nighter and you got to rank 10 and that sucker crashed, nine out of 10 times, you're back to level one again. You're starting. So all your multiplayer progress, like with the campaign pro progress, will also be deleted. That's right. So all that hard work of playing online will be deleted because they didn't properly release this. And now this, not just EA, Activision, and Rockstar, and Microsoft decided to throw their hat in the ring of like games that have no business being released. Call of Duty and Turtle like is being slapped on. Back for Blood, though it works and needed more time. Battlefield and Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition... You know, like, the, like the graph, the graphics look kind of like mediocre at best. A lot of the cool music is gone, and it's glitchy as hell. More like definitive shit. Don't even work. And have the balls that ask you between for between sixty to seventy dollars, depending on what what you buy it on. No, thank you. 
a gaming crash will happen again. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Because people will not buy. Bullshit doesn't work. At this point, if you have a Switch, buy Mario Party. At least it works. And it's a better sequel than the one that came out. Last, all kidding aside, the last, the, the, the it's better than the, than the previous one that came out. So, I remember, just get Mario, the new Mario Party that came out. Honestly. And if you go to Walmart, they sell it for $50. So, instead of paying $60, you, only, you, only, you, you get $10 off. Well, tell you seven, you know, taxes. But you know what I'm saying? You save money if you go in and one more in person. Point being, don't buy these games. Don't buy this shit. And it's not that the fifth edition, like, they're, they're doing updates. It's still broken. It's still not working. Like, what in the hell, guys? You demand more money and you're giving us the middle finger return? What the hell? Jesus. Oh my God, man. Just tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Have you thought about buying these games, but then change your mind that you saw the shit show these each game presented? And if you're, and if you're the unfortunate soul that managed to buy one of these games, please tell me in the comment section below uh, your, your experiences you experience with each game. Or better yet, show me some clips I have a Facebook concern. Show me some clips of like the bugs you experience. I wanna I wanna know. I wanna see it. I wanna definitely hear your thoughts, so like see the bugs. Everything in the comment section below. I wanna see everything. Your thoughts, the bugs, glitches, everything. I want I wanna hear you guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Also bugs, glitches. I know I'm repeating myself, but it's just wow. Wow guys, way to go. <laughs> Jesus. I mean I, I hate to bring negativity, but if they do shit like this. What do you expect to happen? Christ almighty, man. That's my thoughts. Like, share, do what you want. I'm signing out. Have a good one. <sighs>